Hey guys, welcome to Let's Go Catch the Snaps. And today we're going to be rigging a sea witch. And today I'm going to be showing you how to rig a sea witch. You can see how it all goes down. Alright, give me a second here. Alright, so first thing first, I'm going to use floral carbon. 40 pound floral carbon. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to pull, first you're going to pull your sea witch out, just like this. Okay, I like this color. It's pretty cool. Alright, and you know, a lot of people tend to, uh, you know, uh, stick your wire through here, and that is not, or your line through there, it's not where, the, the way it's supposed to be, guys. The sea witch goes from the inside out, okay? So you're gonna run your wire through there. And what I'm gonna be doing with the sea witch here, guys, I'm gonna be using, shout out to my friend Joe, I'm gonna be using a spoon, right, to, for the mackerels, uh, the kingfish, and that's why I'm using this particular one here, all right? All right, then I'm gonna go right through here like that. All right, once you got it tied up, and you know it's tied up good, just give it a little pull, then cut your little tab off right there. Just so you have an idea, when this thing is trolling, right, it's gonna look like this. Like all the feathers are gonna go back. It's gonna pull right, right on the sea. That's what the sea witch is supposed to see it. All right, stay tuned. Alright guys, so there you go, you got it. This is the way the sea witch is supposed to look. And on the top, we have a swivel. So this is how you rig a sea witch. Stay tuned, share, like, and subscribe. Alright, the next one, you're going to need some crimping tools, and you're going to need some crimps. Sleeves. And, for example, I'm going to use the, this, uh, squid type looking thing it's actually a squid and I'm going to use wire on this one in case you know I get something like a kingfish or something right as you can see look how nice it looks once it's rigged with the you know the colors and everything on it right look it matches all the colors and everything on it and then you're going to put a swivel at the end hey guys let me show you what I did here I did three of them, okay, the first one, well, I already showed you, but the second one I prepared for a bonito strip. So we got the first sea witch with uh, floral carbon, 50 pound test, okay, on double hooks for a bonito strip. Okay, you can use any piece of bait you would like maybe you know cut a thread herring in half or whatever I'm having then I got a spoon on my uh, silver or gray and pink here and that's gonna work great for the king mackerels kingfish you know that those type of fish barracuda wahoo you name it okay and the good thing that the spoon is big so that even though I'm using uh, floral carbon you know if the fish bites here it's not gonna break my line and finally I'm using a squid lure okay with the uh, this one has a cable on it and I'm using the green and yellow because it resembles, look at the eyes are green and it's got some yellow on the top and brown, whatever. So I'm using the, that sea witch with a wire, 100, I think it's like 120 pound wire here with a barrel ball bearing swivel here. Okay, in case the fight gets pretty tense, it's tense we can get it out. Well, anyway, guys, here you go. This is how you uh, 
put together the sea witches. We're going to put them to use very shortly. Show you how they work. Share, like, and subscribe. Shout out to King, Joe, Justin, and Andrew. Let's go catch some snaps.